Yo, what's up guys, it's Steve back and today we have another worst to best ranking video. It really means a lot to me that you guys are enjoying these videos that I put out and the fact that you are showing support and of course respecting my opinions. You know, most of the time I rank certain guns lower than some of you might do and it's really cool to see that you don't just dislike the video when we have different opinions. Okay, you know what? I don't even care anymore. I'm just gonna keep making these types of videos and have fun with it. For this video, we're gonna rank all of the meta guns in Battlefield 1 from worst to best. As you guys know, I always ask you guys to comment down below what I should rank next, and you guys really wanted me to rank all of the meta guns, so here we go. No trigger warnings, no nothing, we're just gonna start. So, the worst meta gun in Battlefield 1 is, in my opinion, the Self Slaughter 1906. And come on, this one is really not that hard. It only has five bullets. You need at least 3 bullets to kill an enemy if you're not counting headshots. So that means that you can only kill one enemy before reloading. It also means that you cannot miss more than 2 shots because if you do, you'll need to reload and the reload time itself is also pretty lengthy. The 1906 does come in a sniper variant with a bipod which is pretty cool but then again, 5 shots, it, it's just not enough. Technically the time to kill is very fast if you have a good trigger finger but overall it's not that viable. Now the worst one was fairly simple but after this I actually had a really hard time to complete the list. Ranking the miniguns is the most subjective list out of all worst to best videos I've done so far. But I will explain my picks as we move up the list. So next up is the Say Regardi. This Medigon is I believe the very first Medigon you unlock when playing the multiplayer and even back then I didn't really like it. So first of all it only has 10 shots before reloading. Now don't get me wrong, 10 shots is enough to kill multiple people, especially when you compare it to the 1906, but the damage output itself is not that amazing. Then again, the Serigotti can actually fire in full auto, which is really, really cool, and it makes it a lot better. So all in all, it's not my favorite, but you can still slay with it, as you can see by these clips right here. The reload time is really bad though, and that's why I rank it this low. Up next is the General Liu Rifle. Now this gun is in a lot of ways very similar to the Self Slaughter 1906. It also has a very small magazine but it's still a little bit bigger with 6 bullets before reloading. That alone makes me want to rank it higher than the 1906. And pretty much every other stat is identical to the Self Slaughter 1906. But the reason why I also rank it above the Serigardi is because of its secondary firing mode. You see the General Lee rifle can be transformed to basically a bolt action rifle. It's really weird, if you change its firing mode the damage will increase significantly making it a 2 shot kill on most ranges and even a 1 shot headshot kill just like sniper rifles. So that's pretty interesting and other than that it's not really that good. Moving on we have the Auto Loading 8. Now this gun comes in two different variants, the 35 and the 25 Extended. Personally I don't really like the 35, it does pack a mean punch and technically it holds one of the fastest time to kills, but just like the Self Slaughter 1906 and the General Lee U Rifle, with only 5 shots you really need to make your shots count and it's pretty much only good for dealing with one enemy max. Now the extended variant is a whole different story. The extended comes with an extended magazine obviously, but also with a smaller caliber bullet. The extended is more of a spam fire weapon with a fast reload and low recoil. Damage output is not amazing, but if you get the feeling for it, you can wreck people with it. This used to be my favorite gun in the game by the way. Next up is the Mondragon, and this is basically your most basic medic rifle. It has 10 shots to fire before reloading, the reload itself is pretty damn fast by the way, and it's always a 3 shot kill at any range. So all in all, it's better than the Serigardi, even though it cannot fire in full auto. It's also pretty accurate and it has great sights. Don't forget by the way that it also comes in a sniper variant like the Self Slaughter 1906 and the Bipod, and that makes it actually a lot better. The next medic gun on the list is the RSC 1917 and this one was pretty hard to place but I think this is a fair spot. Let me explain why. So the RSC has some very interesting traits. First of all it's the only semi-automatic medic gun that can two shot people up to 50 meters. That alone makes it extremely good. With its 6 rounds magazine you can technically kill up to 3 enemies just with body shots within 50 meters. 
And this is also where it excels. This is the best way to play with the RSC 1917. You need to play very passively and pick off enemies at further ranges. Because of this, it makes the gun less viable. And that is also the reason why I rank it like this. Despite the damage output in CQB, it's still not that good because of the rate of fire and the magazine capacity. But I know a lot of people really like this gun, so let me know where you would rank the RSC 1917. Up next we have the Fedorov Aftermath or the Fedorov Aftermath, however you want to call it. So this is on number 5, according to me of course. Now in all honesty, before I started making this video and recording the footage, I really thought that this gun would take up the number 1 spot. Obviously it's the only quote unquote real automatic gun for the medic class and it also comes with 26 bullets in the magazine. So I was actually shocked when I played with this gun again since a long time and found out that it's actually not that good. Yes, it makes it easier to kill people because of its full auto capabilities and its rate of fire, but the damage output is actually pretty garbage, especially at a bit further distances. Not only is the damage drop off pretty bad, the recoil is not great either for further ranges. Combine that with a very slow muzzle velocity and you'll notice that this gun is pretty much exclusive for close quarter battles only and normally when you think of medic guns they are pretty viable at medium to long ranges but still at close ranges the Fedor of Aftermath is pretty much your best choice and that's why I rank it this high. Now the number 4 and the number 3 spot are so similar they are basically the same. So first off we have the Howl Automatic. This gun is pretty damn awesome. It has 21 rounds to fire before reloading, 3 shot kill up close, 4 shot kill at further ranges Pretty damn accurate and it also comes with a bipod on either the standard variant or the sniper variant. I don't really know what more to say about this gun. It's awesome, you always wreck people with it and it's just awesome. Same goes for the medic gun on the number 3 spot, the Farqua Hill. Now I don't know what DICE was thinking when they balanced this gun because it's pretty much the exact same as the Howl Automatic. It has a bit faster empty reload and slightly less recoil but the Howl Automatic has a bit faster tactical reload and less spread. It also comes with a bipod like I mentioned so in all honesty you can switch these guns around it all depends on what you like better. Still though, two awesome guns, large magazines and very accurate even at further distances, can't go wrong with them. Now we are at the number 2 spot, the second best medic gun in Battlefield 1 and this spot goes to the Self Slaughter M1916. This gun is actually crazy if you look at the stats. A semi-automatic rifle with 26 shots in the magazine and a 3 shot kill at any range. That means that you can technically kill 8 enemies with one magazine. I mean that's just crazy, 3 shot kill at any range and 26 rounds and it also comes in a scope variant to really embrace the long range capabilities and I'm telling you it's perfect for that because it has an 800 meters per second muzzle velocity. The only downside is the rate of fire which is a bit on the slow side but still the pros weigh out the cons by a large margin. I actually made a live commentary video playing with this gun and explaining why this is the most noob friendly gun in the whole game. If you want to check that out I'll leave a link in the description below. But now for the number one spot, the best medic gun in Battlefield 1 and trust me I was hella surprised when I found out that I would rank this gun on the number one spot. It's the M1907 SL Sweeper. I don't know what to tell you, I remember back in the day before this gun got nerfed it already was the best medic gun in the game by far. Most people thought that as well. Then after the nerf, I didn't really play with it that much until I needed to get some footage for this video. And I couldn't believe my eyes how well this gun performed. You'll see it in the clips in the background, it's amazing how well you play with this gun if you have the right playstyle. So here are a little bit of facts. Max damage, 42. That's a 3 shot kill up until 37 meters. Combine that with a rate of fire of 299 rounds per minute which is faster than most other semi-automatic medic guns in Battlefield 1 and you already have a beast of a weapon within 37 meters. Now the reason why I chose the sweeper variant is because it can actually fire fully automatic. Yes, you heard that right. Now it also has 21 rounds so that gives you plenty of shots to kill multiple enemies, especially in close quarters. It has a very fast tactical reload time of 2.3 seconds, it has very easy to control recoil, it's pretty accurate and the sights are one of the best, it gives you a very clear image to track your targets. The only real downsides of this gun are the muzzle velocity which is pretty slow with only 570 meters per second and the fact that you need 5 bullets to kill a distant enemy but that's only beyond 54 meters. So all in all the best medic gun in Battlefield 1 for me is definitely the M1907 SL Sweeper and trust me when I say that I was as surprised as you guys are right now. Or maybe you guys are not surprised at all, let me know down below. 
Also let me know down below what you guys want me to rank in the next worst to best ranking video. I think a lot of you guys wanted to see all Battlefield 1 maps ranked from worst to best. That's gonna be a long ass video but if you guys want it, I'ma do it. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel with notifications on if you haven't already. You can follow me on Twitter if you like at TBackGamingYouTube. And with that being said, I see you guys next time.